So I thought I'd show the latest version of the Zothra robot and here's a set of the bobby legs without the body on. I can show you how to how it works with just a servo controller or a Pololu controller. Either way, which you might find interesting. Um, the Zothra one I've made it lighter. The original one had servos in the arms and the head. <clears throat> this one I've removed the servos from the head and the arms to lighten the upper part of the body so that uh, the servos would have an easier time of holding that mass up. Let's get to the switch before it walks off the edge of the counter, right? <clears throat> it also, because it's lighter, is able to stand without any sort of support or anything. The, uh, the bobby legs, it's the same type of thing. Basically, you've got um, two servos, one facing out there and there, and the ones in the feet have to face in the same directions. And by orienting everything that way, you only need one command to control all four servos. There's a fifth servo for a body turn plate here, which you could tie in with it too if you wanted. But basically, as you can see then, right now the Polo Lu controller, which is up here, is sending the commands for the walking and for the turning. But, and I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I'm going to give it a shot. So this <coughs> wire is from all four of the servos in each foot and the hip and everything. And there's lots of different types of servo controllers. This is one of the newer ones. What I like about this one is they put a switch here so on power up, you can have it power up in the center position, or you can have it power up in the manual position or in the wiper mode. The other ones you normally have to push a button to go through uh, steps to get there. This is quite handy for uh, aligning um, all your servos when you're trying to build these things, if you can always have it power up in the centered position. Now this is going to be the tricky part, see if I can do I don't think I can do it one handed, so hang on here. Let's just set this down. And... There we go. Put this in manual. Alright. So, right now the only thing that's uh, connected to the Polo Lu is the uh, waist turn, and I won't even be turning that on, which would be the switch on the back of the foot. Instead, let's just use the servo controller. Again, we're looking at the back of the robot here, this is the front. And so, whenever you turn the knob on your servo controller, you've now moved all four servos. So you can make it walk any speed you want. And you make it walk really wide steps or little teeny baby steps. So there's a, there's a lot of things a person can do with a servo control. You could run the, the extension servo wire out of your robot and have the servo controller and batteries in a small handheld remote like I've done in the past. You can build the controller right into the robot. If you had it set for the wide step, then you could just use the windshield wiper mode thing. But it uh, kind of gives you more of an idea. Some of you that were built, trying to build the ones off Thingiverse or, or some of the other ones that I posted to YouTube were a little bit confused on, on how one controller can control all those servos. I mean, you could plug the waste one in, in here as well. So with each step, the waste servo would turn. And if you had arms, since the servos are facing opposite, if you brought the arms, well, then you can break everything down to one single control line. The uh, arms will swing back and forth as it turns. And of course, if you put one up on the head, then the head would turn. So you can, you can do everything with a single control or a single device. In this case, um, what I'm going to end up doing is using the, uh, the Polo Lu not only to, if I can plug this back in, okay. not only to control the the feet and the waist, but I'm going to use the other channels up here to uh, control lights and sound. So you can have multicolored lights, you can see how it turns the body. Then I'm going to have it repeat the, the program. You could make the program any length you want. In this design, of course, the the batteries uh, plug right into the feet. 
and there's no reason the feet have to be this big. The servos in here, you could have the front very shallow and come all the way down. I was going for a particular look is all. So hopefully that uh, makes some of this a little clearer to those of you that have been wondering how to use a single channel to control multiple servos for walking and display and stuff like that.